Hi, I'm Liz with Liz Toth Properties powered by eXp Realty. I'm a residential real estate agent in Raleigh, North Carolina. And today is your real estate market update. This is being recorded at the end of April, but you're probably seeing it in May. It's hard to believe we're already going into the month of May in 2024. I hope you're having a great spring. Today, we're gonna to look at what happened in the first quarter versus last year for the entire Triangle region. We'll look at some trends, what's happened in Raleigh, Cary, and Durham with prices, days on market, homes available for sale. Uh, we will also look at what's going on in the real estate market today and finish up with a few national slides. So I will share my screen and we will get right into it. So right now we're looking at the entire Triangle region. Um, and if you focus over here, this is the year to date data. Um, so again, we're filming this at the end of April. So the data that we have is through March. So if you look at what's going on in the first quarter of this year versus the first quarter of last year in the triangle, uh, you can see new listings are up 16.4%. That's great news. It is a trend we're seeing across the country. Our closed sales are off about 5.3%. I think we'll start to see this change as we get more into the spring market. Um, and I'll talk a little bit about what April is going to look like here shortly. Uh, when you look at the average sales price and the median sales price in the triangle, you can see both of them are up. The average sales price in the triangle uh, for the first quarter, 2024, is $464,000. And then our days on market, I always like to look at that. Uh, the first quarter was about 44 days on the market. This is from the time a home comes on the market. This includes the coming soon time period until it goes under contract. Um, that's that the number of days it was on the market. When we look at the trend, you'll see that the days on market trends down significantly as we get more into uh, the spring market. Um, so that's what happened in the first quarter in the entire Triangle region um, when compared to 2023. When we look at the trend line, I'm just going to narrow down to Raleigh, Cary, and Durham here. So we're looking at the average sales price. This is comparing March 2024, just the month alone, to March 2023. And you can see all three cities have seen an increase in the average sales price when compared to last year, um, with the average sales price in Raleigh for March being $554,000, Cary $716,000, and Durham $465,000. When we look at our month supply available for sale, so we did see in the entire Triangle region, new listings were up versus last year. But when we look at our month's supply, we still don't have a significant amount of inventory available for all the buyers. You know, in this market today, we still see homes getting multiple offers. Um, you know, I, I saw just a few over the weekend um, that got multiple offers. Um, so it's still happening, it's still prevalent in this market despite the higher interest rates. Um, and what you'll see here is obviously, you can see we're trending down as we go from February into March um, because we get more buyers in the market, homes get snapped up pretty quickly. Um, so we average, we're averaging less than a two month supply in Raleigh and in Durham and just under a one month supply of homes uh, in Cary. When, um, and you can see it's either flat like it was in Raleigh. So we had the same inventory last year uh, in March that we do this year, uh, but it's off in both Cary and Durham uh, double digits. Now, I always like to look at like a 10 year trend. It's always interesting to me to look at this um, to see, you know, a normal balanced market of six months uh, is a six month supply. So when was the last time we were at a six month supply? And you can see this goes back 10 years. Uh, it's been over 10 years since Raleigh, Cary and Durham have seen uh, over a six month supply or a six month supply. Uh, and we anticipate this trend is going to continue. We have so many people moving here. Um, we have people moving here for jobs. We have people moving here to retire. We have people moving here to be close to family. That's one of the reasons why I moved here almost 10 years ago. So um, I think we're going to continue to see uh, inventory be challenging as even though we have higher rates um, and as we get more into the spring market. Days on market, we talked a little bit about that already. Um, I'm going to go back to a one year. But you can see, I mentioned, you know, when we look at the entire Triangle region for the first quarter, it was 44 days. Well, it's typically higher in January. Sales are slower. There's not as many buyers out. February, we start to get a few more buyers out. But when we get into March, now we're in the, real, in the spring market. A lot more buyers are in the marketplace. And so you can see the days on market has dropped um, every single month since January. And so uh, days on market in Cary was 16 days for the month of March, 22 days in Raleigh, and 21 days in Durham. When we look at homes available for sale, you can see we've been relatively flat. And when we look at just the month by itself compared to last year, uh, inventory or homes available for sale were less 
than they were last year. But the good news is we are seeing more new listings. So we've seen an increase in new listings in the market every month since December. So that's great news. And hopefully we'll continue to see that trend uh, going into uh, April and May, because really this is the peak buying season. Um, and then once we get in through May, then we typically see um, the, sale, the inventory and sales decline um, after that. And that's that normal seasonality. Um, we haven't seen seasonality as much in the last several years. We started to see it last year. So um, that's a good thing, the reintroduction of uh, seasonality in the real estate market. So what is going on today in the real estate market? Again, this focuses on Raleigh, Cary, and Durham. What's currently active and coming soon? 1,610 listings. And I do like to look at what is new construction. So out of that um, 1,610, 574 are new construction listings. These are typically called quick move in homes. They're somewhere in the stage of construction. Either they're just started or they're in framing or maybe they're done and waiting for a buyer. So uh, 574 listings are currently new construction and not all of the quick move-ins get listed in the MLS. So this might not even be everything that's available out there. When we look at what's under contract right now, just over 2000 and of that 2000, 680 are new construction. And then what has closed so far this month in Raleigh, Cary and Durham, we're at, um, at April 29th, 978 homes. And what, number our new construction 151. So 978 homes have closed as of April 29th. How did we do last year and how are we going to end up probably pretty close to where we ended up last year. Last year um, in April 2023 we sold 1078 homes so we're about 100 homes or sales away from that um, and we're we have um, you know obviously we're in the end of the month we're at the 29th right now so we'll see this number increase. Will we uh, we'll probably end up flat versus last year, April of last year. So that's what's going on today in the real estate market. And finally, I'm going to finish up with some slides uh, for national, uh, with national information. So this is a change in inventory. This is looking at year over year. So this is March 2024 compared to March uh, 2023. So basically the first quarter of this year versus first quarter of last year. Uh, the good news is we're seeing inventory increase uh, across the country, with the exception of a couple of pockets where uh, inventory is down. You can see North Carolina is up 29.7%, almost 30%. Um, and some other parts of the country are seeing larger increases, like Florida inventory is up 57%, Texas up 31%. Uh, so this is great news because we do have demand in the area. So it's good to see inventory increasing, um, especially as we get into the spring selling season and there's more buyers in the marketplace. Nationally, uh, inventory is up 24%. I thought this was interesting as well. So this is um, active monthly listings in thousands compared to previous years. So I liked this chart because it shows that our inventory for 2024 is outpacing the pandemic year. So um, you can see the orange is 2020 and what happened as we got more into the pandemic. Um, then you have 2021, 2022, and 2023. Here's 2024. So great news. We are starting to outpace the pandemic years. Um, but then when you look up here, you can see we're still a long way away from 2017, 2018, and 2019. So the pre-pandemic years, we have not gotten back to that inventory level. A lot of, we talk a lot about interest rates and what's going on with interest rates. Um, and this was the latest Fed des decision as of March 20th. So they decided to maintain that, that target range and not make any changes. Um, obviously the Feds don't set mortgage rates, but what they do influences mortgage rates. So if they uh, decide to do a rate cut, that's going to influence mortgage rates. Um, and if they increase, obviously that's gonna increase, could potentially increase mortgage rates. So they, are holding steady that they are going to do three cuts sometime this year. And I liked this quote from Forbes, you know, current expectations are that the Fed will start to cut rates at some point between June and September. The exact timing depends on how incoming economic data looks. Uh, the Fed's March meeting did not set up a prospect of a near term interest rate cut, but a summer cut appears likely. So uh, fingers crossed, we see interest rates cut sometime this summer and we see some relief uh, in mortgage rates because uh, the last I checked mortgage rates were close to about seven and a half percent. And so that does impact buyers. It softens demand. It takes some buyers out of the market entirely. Um, so we definitely, it would be nice to see rates get cut and see interest rates start to come down 
Um, and if they do, I always say this, if they do, more buyers are going to enter the market and it's going to get even more competitive than it is already. We do still see multiple offers in this market today with interest rates being what they are. As they come down, it's going to get even more competitive. So I always say if you're a buyer and you're in this market today and you can swing it at the higher rates, definitely get out there and start looking. Don't wait for rates to come down because it's going to get much more competitive and it could ultimately end up costing you more. So and that's just my two cents on interest rates. I like this chart a lot too. So this is great for um, conversations that I'm having with sellers today. Um, you know, this shows the interest rate obviously over here, and then it shows what the buyer demand is going to be over here. So we've been over six and a half percent and over seven percent for a little while. Um, so you can see when when we're in that six and a half to seven and a half percent interest rate. We have weak and limited demand. Once we get below six and a half percent, and I did see this happen last year, rates came down um, to six and a half percent or they dipped a little bit below and business just went crazy. Um, but right now we're in a market where we have weak and limited demand. So this just reinforces, you know, for a buyer, again, if you can swing it at the higher interest rates, you're going to you're not going to have as much competition as you would if you wait until we get into the good and strong buyer demand when rates have come down. Um, another thing I would say is I talk to sellers a lot as well. You know, I would don't wait for interest rates to come down if you want to sell your home. If you've had a change in your life, you know, don't wait for interest rates to come down. I would put your home on the market now because we have, you know, you saw in previous slides that we have very low inventory levels. We do still have demand here in the triangle and we do still see homes getting multiple offers. And so that is my real estate market update. Uh, April going into May. If you have questions on the real estate market and you're local here and you're looking for more specific information for your neighborhood or your town, uh, don't hesitate to reach out. I'm happy to provide any information. Um, if you're a buyer interested in relocating to the Raleigh market, check out my YouTube channel, Welcome to Raleigh. There's a lot of great videos on there. Um, there's information on the real estate market, more videos like this, uh, buyer tips, uh, city tours, community tours. And um, if you are a seller in this market, you have questions about selling, uh, don't hesitate to reach out and check out my YouTube channel. I also have seller tips available. I look forward to talking to you again soon and I hope you have a great day.